and I believe that you should not be the one to follow the crowd when um, people do start pulling out their phones. And I've been to many, many, many performances that right away the crowd that is there will automatically, ooh, he sing, he, uh, the performer singing this song or performer singing that song. I need to get that song on video. And normally, I would say, no, you don't. One of my friends, um, Andrew David James, I'm, I named him out loud, so I hope he watches this video. Um, one of my friends, he said on his radio show once, use the camera that God gave you. And the camera that God gave you is your eyes. Okay, but with the coronavirus thing going around and us being stuck at home and not being able to take in theater or performance or anything lovely of that nature, um, I really have been digging into the bootleg um, videos. And so I think... At this time, it is appropriate to watch those videos, but I still will not be that woman who automatically pulls out her phone at a performance because I I don't know if you guys agree with me or not, but here's where I fall on the argument. I go to, and um, you may know this as well, because I have talked, I have talked about this on um, my social media before. But I go to performances as if they are classes, because I myself, being a performer, yes, I only, I I don't want to say I only perform at church, because saying only kind of discounts the importance of it, but. I am a church performer, but yet um, we do still need to know how to bring people, how to draw people in so that they will join us in worshiping. And um, there is a point to, well, your heart should be there if you're in church, but sometimes, sometimes when people are going through things their first reaction is not to worship their first reaction is to focus on their sadness and as a church leader a worship leader we need to be in a in a space where we need to say that God is taking care of you you're okay it's okay to say that he's good even though your circumstances right now may not be good. God is always good. So we need to bring, we need to be the example of that posturing, whether it be lifting hands or looking up to the heavens or or having a smile on our faces. We need to be that, we need to be that leader. And so I often, even though even though the performances I go to are considered secular performances, they're not um, Christian performances. They are places where I have found some of my best tips, even though I have not shared them out loud with people. Or I'm constant. I feel like I'm constantly thanking the performers that I learn from, but. Let this vi let this video also be a thank you to all those people who have seen I have seen over the past years and and um, really influenced me to be that type of leader and so but anyway my confession my initial point for making this video is that I really am grateful for the thing that bugs the heck out of me right now. Because if I didn't have those videos to rely on and fall back on, I'd be going crazy. And 
a couple nights ago, I, I found myself going crazy, and I cried for what appeared to be no reason, but I knew what the reason was. The reason was I had a ticket to go to a performance, and I couldn't go. Nobody's going to performances right now. But then God blessed me yesterday through um, Desiree and Nicholas Domard, who did a concert in their living room. So for one hour, I got to travel to New Jersey via YouTube and um, really immerse myself in theater again. And it just felt so lovely um, to do that. And, but I, my point of this rant or this talk or whatever you want to call it is to say that as of now, what is going on with the videos and things is no longer bugging me. But I'm sure that once we get back into live spaces and we get back into that mindset of actually having to go to theater or having to go to a performance that unless the what they call the voice of God what theater goers call the voice of God unless the voice of God says you can keep your phone on or be willing to check in on Twitter or any of your social media outlets Please put away your phone, because if they say put away your phone, it's for a good reason. And the good reason is you don't want to be that person. Take me, for example. I am short, and I'm even shorter when I sit down. So you don't want to be that person in front of a person like me who may be struggling to see because they have their phone up and they're trying to get the good shot of the performer who's on stage. I know that a lot of people want to save memories and and be able to relive those memories over and over and over again. But I would encourage you guys to not post not take or post your own videos. But wait until wait until the performer comes out with their own videos and see what they have. And if they have something that you loved, fine. If they have something that you particularly didn't like at that performance, then that's fine too. It's your it's your own opinion, but let them put out what they think is good. I know things are changing with with how things are going, but I would urge you even, or especially in traditional settings like restaurants that have stage shows, to be that respectful person and put your phone down. But um, the main point I'm making this video was also a, that confession of if I didn't have those videos that I'd be going nuts. So anyway, you guys, I hope all is going well with you. And I hope that you have had a chance to find some joy in all of this craziness. And I love you guys. And those of you who I do see at performances, I hope and pray that I will see you soon. I love you all and thank you so much for being here. Um, pass this on if you so choose to, and I will be around to make my next video, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, I don't know, but I was planning to do um, my sermon note video tomorrow, so I will talk to you guys then, whether I do that video or not, I'll make a point to talk to you guys then, I'll talk to you later, love you, bye bye.